Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District in London, Ontario. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugar Doyle, with you for Race Day. HPI, bet play of the day. Let's go to the finale. Had no luck with a trotter here yesterday, so we're going to go back on the pace. And race number 10, number 3, little quick. He's always in the hunt. He finds a great spot today, and I believe is a key play for the high five finale plus you might want to key him up in that final leg of our late pick four hpi play of the day for hpi bet and western fair district race number 10 number three little quick you've got to put a big circle around that one brett mcdonald goes back on board today early pick three play in the opener it's a short field of six and you know what? Nothing really jumps off the page. There was a very nice victory for Art's first luck first time out, but he was almost 30 to 1 in that one. Today, he's the second choice in the morning line, but again, nothing really jumping off the page there. So a field of six, why not hit that all button and try for some value to show up right up front in race number one. Over into race two, I've left the morning line fave off this ticket. I'm using two. Uh, Fading Shadow, the three Casino Classic, uh, she's won here many a time. And the four Top Royal, always tough at this preferred three level. Colin Kelly stays on for the new trainer, Randy Henry, the four Top Royal, one to think about in race number two. The third race to complete, it's the two Goldie's Bad Girl or the five Kim's Desire. And I'm going to give another shot to the eight, Sierra's Rose, second time for trainer Terry Gallant. Early pick four starts in that third race. Stay on the same three. We're going to go three deep in the first three legs. And over to race six, we'll try to complete with four of them. Regal Beagle, a Yankee Feelin', and uh, Stonebridge Sting, Dragon Wave. Those are the four we'll use to complete the early pick four. Late pick four starts up in the seventh. It's the Terra Hills feature. And going to go four deep in the opening leg. A key scratch in there, the preferred three trot. Take out number seven, Seen a Magician. Eighth race, using two, a whole lot of sass, or 2018, horse of the year, six, spicy victor. The ninth race, it's an all button, and getting over to race number 10, we have keyed up our play of the day in Little Quick. We're going to take a short break right now. If you've got comments or suggestions, send them along to our management team of Greg Blanchard or Greg Gango, myself. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a follow on Twitter at Sugar Doyle. We'll come back with a whole lot more, including a Wednesday Rewind. It's the 1984 U.S. Pacing Championship coming up out of the Meadowlands. Stick around. HPIBet.com. Access, rewards, and more. Hey, welcome back to the pregame show, everyone. You're watching Race Day at the Raceway. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugar Doyle, with you setting up this evening's action. Let's go to our low 15% take board. We've updated this now to include the average pools and payouts thus far in 2018 make it 2019 at the raceway yeah you betcha so the 20 cent payouts average payouts 2019 thus far on an early pick three 77 dollars on an early pick four over 400 dollars the high fives continue to pay huge the average 20 cent payout on our high five through 2019 over eleven hundred dollars we hook you up with free programs selections video replays and more on our website at westernfairdistrict.com. The go-to wagers, the pick three play right up front does feature a guaranteed pool. Both pick fours beginning in races three and seven, also featuring guaranteed pools. The high fives are in races six and ten. Our high five finale for a mile and a sixteenth. We've pegged a guaranteed pool on that one as well, $5,000. Low 15% takeout featured on all of our go-to wagers. Driver Scott Coulter, here he is, 4,996 career driving wins coming into tonight. He's been listed on eight horses this evening. It's the 5,000 win watch for driver Scott Coulter. Would love to see him hit 5,000 right here in London. 
Now, as promised, we've got a Wednesday rewind going back 35 years ago. My time flies, eh? 35 years ago for the 1984 U.S. Pacing Championship. It's going to take a win photo to decide it here. It'll be Tom Durkin with the call. Going back to the Big M, 1984. A dandy of a free-for-all $60,000 purse. Mr. Dalray, one of the great veterans of our sport and 6-1 to one on the big board. Armbro Action is at 80. Glenn Elmahurst, 5. Rashad is 17. Boomer Drummond, 4-5. to five. Campbell drives the big heavy favorite. Energy Burner is at 7. Listening at 15. Division Street completes this 8-horse field 6-1 to one with Buddy Gilmore. All online and ready for the start. Here's Tom with the call of the pacing championship. And uh, they're off. On the outside, it's Energy Burner away quickly. There goes Glenn Elmerhurst now. Glenn Elmerhurst is up to grab the lead as they reach the first turn. Energy Burner on the outside. Toward the inside, it's Mr. Dalray as the field races round the turn. Up front, it's Glenn Elmerhurst with the lead, and Energy Burner now moves into second. On the outside, Boomer Drummond gaining ground from third. Mr. Dalray is fourth by two lengths. Armbro Acton fifth by three. Then farther back's Rashad, followed by Listening and Division Street trails the field. The opening quarter in 28 seconds flat. They're in the back stretch. There goes the Boomer. Boomer Drummond now out of the pocket and up to take command as the field moves up the backstretch. Glenn Elmerhurst now yields the lead and races second. Energy Burner is racing in third. Then it's Mr. Dalray fourth. Armbro Acton is fifth now and he's moving off the rail. Then it's two and a half lengths back to Rashad followed by Listening in Division Street. Boomer Drummond in front past the half mile in 56 and two fifth seconds. They head for the far turn. Boomer Drummond in front by a length and three quarters and Glenn Elmerhurst is giving chase in second. And there goes Armbro Acton now making his move as they enter the far turn. That move is followed by Rashad right on his heels up into fourth and Energy Burner is now back to fifth at the inside. Listening into the outside flow is now sixth. And then it's Mr. Dalray back to seventh and Division Street is the trailer as Boomer Drummond leads the field past three quarters in 125 flat. They're at the top of the stretch. Boomer Drummond cuts the corner with a two and a half length lead. And here comes Glenn Elmerhurst now out after him and he's facing a stiff challenge. There's an eighth to go. On the outside, Glenn Elmerhurst, Boomer Drummond is beaten today. And here comes Mr. Dalray and he's flying on the inside. But it's Glenn Elmerhurst with the lead. Mr. Dalray gaining toward the inside. Energy Burner is third. They're coming to the wire and it is a photo finish. Mr. Dalray or Glenn Elmerhurst, the photo finish and the time. 152 and 2. And the photo showed Mr. Dalray the winner by a nose. We'll look at that photo in a moment, but let's look at this great stretch drive and watch the rail. Everybody thought Boomer Drummond Dave was the one to beat. He tired late in the lane. The horse on the outside is Glenn Amherst, but Mr. Dalray finds room along the inside as he ships in from Sportsman's Park. Well placed start and just gets up at the wire with Glenn Amherst. What a finish to the U.S. Pacing Championship, and as you can see, there's a little bit of space between the wire and the number three nose, but look on the inside, number one, Mr. Dalray, and his owner said, beating the Meadowlands jinx, Mr. Dalray with Dave McGee pays $14.46, $64.60, Glenn Almahurst in a heartbreak, finishing second, $5.340, Energy Burner, $4.20. And there we go, a uh, bit of an upset there. The 1984 U.S. Pa Pacing Championship at the Meadowlands. A great call there by Tom Durkin. Mr. Dalray, Dave McGee, they dominated the Chicago free-for-all circuit there for a few years. Some nice old horses in that one, including a Montreal fave and Boomer Drummond just uh, didn't have it on that day. Already, it's a team to the moon time. Team to the moon in support of Breast Cancer Awareness 2019 fabulous group of uh, horses and people getting together teaming up all in support of a wonderful cause for more information if you'd like to join up with the team contact our friend of the show Lou Sorella via Facebook or Twitter again it's team to the moon we're all part of the fight in support of breast cancer awareness 2019 we can go back and do some recapping now some pick three and pick four playing as mentioned, nothing was really jumping off the page for me in race number one. So a compact field of six, and it's going to be the all button for me. 
the all button in race one. We've gone three deep in the next couple of races. I've left the morning line fave here off my ticket in race number two. I'm liking the chances better for fading shadow, uh, casino classic, and top royal. Over to race number three. We're going to try the two, Goldie's Bad Girl and the five, Kim's Desire. They've been finishing uh, up close against each other last few starts. Going to give another shot to the eight, Sierra's Rose as well, going out second time for trainer Terry Gallant in the third. That third race will start tonight's early pick four, using the two, five, and eight, staying with them. Over to race number four, a heavy favorite on the morning line, number two, Shock It to em is coming off a winning qualifier and a decent time over London, 59-3. and three. Uh, Others to think about, maybe the four, twang, twang, the five, terracotta lad, goes out for the new connections off the claim. Three deep in the fifth, race six. We'll go four deep in there with Regal Beagle, a Yankee Phelan, Stonebridge Sting, Dragon Wave. Over to race seven, Terra Hills feature, top class trotters here, and there is a key scratch. Uh, number seven, seen a magician, was assigned the outside post, but has scratched in there. Scratched the seven from race seven, so we're going to go four deep. Use the inside four. Race eight, it's the two, a whole lot of sass, or six, spicy victor. Race number nine, it's an all button, and in race ten, our key to a late pick four and a possible key to top the high five finale. Number three, little quick. Just missing last time out. Brett McDonald going back on board for the drive. He's already a five-time winner from 11 outings in 2019. I think he gets another one today. Number three, Little Quick, the key to this late pick four in race number 10. Kevin Mantrev, standing by. What do you got for us, Trev? Anytime, Trev. Race eight, number six, Spicy Victor. And this is how it is. Uh, Scott Coulter. Uh, inching closer to his 5,000th career driving win. Cameraman Treb, big fan of Scott, so too am I. We'll wish him luck. He's got eight horses to drive here in London tonight. Would love to see him hit that uh, 5,000 career driving win milestone here in London. Cameraman all over six, Spicy Victor, 2018 Horse of the Year here at the Raceway. Scott Coulter driving for trainer Len DeLong Jr. Let's go back and take a look at our closing board then. All you need is on our website, westernfairdistrict.com slash raceway. It's free program, selections, video replays, and more. Your free program for Friday is already posted on our website. We've got all 10 races featured on both HPI and the TVG2 network. So uh, playing into some nice pools, I would assume, tonight. We are on a fast track. It's fast and dry in London, underway at 6.15. Good luck tonight.